Hi guys, if you are viewing my channel first time, please subscribe to my channel for more updates on embedded systems. Today we are mainly discussing about the criteria for choosing a microcontroller. What are the criteria we need to follow to select a particular controller? We will discuss more on this point today. Okay, first point, uh, 8-bit microcontrollers, Motorola 6811, Intel 8051, Gilox Z8, Microchips Pick. There are also 16-bit and 32-bit microcontrollers made by various chip makers. Here the first point, based on our application requirement, we need to select either 8-bit microcontroller or 16-bit microcontroller or 32-bit microcontroller. This is the first criteria. For example, if my application requirement is very small, like uh, smoke detector, so that I can use the 8-bit microcontroller. For example, if my application requirement is very big, like washing machine or uh, freeze, so that I can select the 16-bit or 32-bit microcontroller. Okay, this is the first criteria. Okay, the next one, meeting a computing needs of your task at hand efficiently and cost effectively. Okay, we need to select, we need to achieve our target efficiently and also cost effectively. Based on that, we need to select our microcontroller. First one is the speed. Speed should be effectively, we need to select based on our requirement. And the packaging, either dual inline package or quad package, we need to select the different types of package. Based on the space constraint, we need to select the package. The next one is the power consumption. For example, uh, if you take the 8051 microcontroller, the power consumption will be 5, 5 volts. If I take the ARM7 or some other microcontroller, the power consumption will be 3.3 .3 volts. Okay, based on our uh, power consumption also, we need to select uh, our microcontroller. Why? Because the backup uh, of the microcontroller will be more if the power consumption is very less. Okay, the amount of RAM and ROM memory on the chip. Okay, based on our RAM and ROM memories, also we can select the microcontroller. Based on our, uh, if the program memory is more than 4 KB, then we need to go for other microcontroller. Uh, why? Because our 8051 has only the 4 KB of memory of uh, ROM, uh, read-only memory. That's why if the RAM uh, RAM has only 128 bytes, if it is more than 128 bytes, then we need to go for uh, other microcontroller. Based on our memories also, we need to go for another microcontrollers. The number of I.O. pins and timers on your chip. Okay, based on if the I.O. pins are not sufficient, uh, if I use the 8051 microcontroller, my I.O. pins are only within uh, within 32 I.O. pins. For example, if the these 32 pins are not sufficient, then we need to go for other microcontroller. For example, here the 8051, if I take, I have only the two timers. If these two timers are not sufficient uh, uh, for your application requirement, then we need to go for another microcontroller. Next here, uh, how easy to upgrade uh, high, higher performance and low power consumption versions. Okay, easy to upgrade to higher versions also should be compatible. And also cost per unit also very less. Okay, these are all criteria we need to follow in case of selecting any microcontroller. Okay, the next one, availability of software development tools such as compilers, assemblers, debuggers. For example, if I select any microcontroller, I should have a, all the uh, possibilities. I, have, I should have a compiler, should have a assemblers, I, I should have a debugger. Okay, whenever we are selecting any microcontroller, we should have a, all the uh, compatible tools should be available. Okay, wide availability of resources of microcontroller. The 8051 family has largest number of diversity, multiple source suppliers. Okay, 8051 first uh, uh, developed by Intel in 1981. Okay, and after that, the remaining manufacturers also allowed by Intel. So that uh, the only one criteria mentioned by Intel, uh, it should be compatible with 8051. The, all the variants of different manufacturer should be compatible with 8051 Intel microcontroller. Okay, that's why uh, the remaining manufacturers also developed their own uh, 8051 microcontroller, but it should compatible with 8051. Okay, this is the mainly family of the 8051. That's why we are mainly uh, discussing about an 8051 further uh, sessions. Yeah, thank you for uh, watching the video. Thank you, friends.